It's Aziza here, aka Gourmet Pens. Uh, welcome back to the new style that I am trying out because I don't know, it just seems more fun and like communicatory, communicatory, um, intimate, you know, it's intimate. Now, this is a really special video. Um, you can see I'm gonna be doing a Namiki. And the story behind this pen is basically that I bought it many years ago. I have done a written review of it. I never ever thought I would sell this pen, but my like life circumstances have changed and an opportunity came up. Somebody else was really looking for this and really, really loves it. I absolutely love this pen. This is not a pen that I'm excited to get rid of or, you know, eager to part with, but life changes and things you think would last forever don't. So the pen is going to a new home, but before it went to a new home, I wanted to do an updated video because this is truly one of the most perfect pens I've ever had, I've ever owned, and I absolutely adore it. So let's get going. First up, this is the pen, I'll show you in the video. The pen is a Namiki Yukari Night Light, Night Line Moonlight. So the idea is they have used Rodin to create a moonlight scene as the, the moon reflects on a water surface. And it's, it's exquisite. So this is a bit of an emotional video for me because it's sort of letting go of something that has meant a lot to me and a pen that I have treasured and I will continue to remember, but it's gonna go to a new home where it will be loved and that's a great thing. So let me just show you. I don't have the box anymore because as I said, I never thought I would part with this pen and also I have moved 10,000 times and so I, I just couldn't keep it, but it was, it's a very elegant presentation. The pen comes with your certificate to let you know what it is. It has been signed by hand and the number of the pen is on there. It also comes with the, the fountain pen information like the warranty and all that. Uh, because it is made by hand and each piece varies, Miki does warranty these for life. So this will be passed on to the new owner as well. I'm kind of overwhelmed, I'm not really sure where to start, but hopefully this is a good, good enough direction. Um, yeah, so this is the Yukari model and it's on the smaller side. I have a couple of pens here that I wanted to compare it to. So just give me one second to, to grab it. And the only reason I'm doing this comparison is so you can have an idea of the size of the pen. Um, here we go. Okay, the, the, the emperor doesn't even fit, which is really annoying. So let's do this. I mean, it doesn't really matter. The emperor is ridiculously huge, but we here, here we have the Namiki Emperor, a Pilot Custom 912, a Pilot Custom A23, and the Yukari. So, it's not a huge pen, but it has a brass liner, and it's ruched, and then there's the rodden on it. It is just a perfect pen. It is perfect. It is just perfectly made. I'm going to take these three out. Actually, I'll take them all out just to show you like a little bit more in hand other than just in the display. So here we have them. I'm gonna just try to turn my light a little there. There we go. Yeah, the emperor is like totally ridiculous, but that's okay. It's not a tiny pen. It's a beautiful, sleek shape. It's elegant and classy and it's just beautiful. So here are some of the details. Black base, the Namiki clip, which I think is perfect. It's elegant, it's simple. 
It's very functional, although I would never clip this unless it was in my case. The artist signature is down on the bottom. Um, there we go. Hopefully that shows up a little better. I don't know. It's really, really awful weather today, and I'm just trying to get the right angle for you to see the see the details and stuff you know and the and the light keeps changing which is really annoying but anyway here we go I think this shows it up pretty well for you um so yeah it's maybe there no I'm gonna turn this one off I don't think we need it sorry still awful weather I mean still awful light because of the weather but this should do enough. This is no filter, so you can see how the rod in just like glitters and glows. There's no center band. The motif is meant not to line up because it's supposed to be like the rippling on the water. It's not perfect. It, it changes. Some people like it. Some people don't. I love it. I think it's absolutely exquisite. And I think this pen is just captivating. I think it's elegant, it's classy, the size, the shape, it's just perfect. And when I received it, absolutely perfect pen. Not a single flaw, like it's just, they just nailed the finish. And of course at the price, this is what you would expect, but it's always nice to see it in person. And so here we are, uncapped. It's not a huge pen, but again, because it's got that breast liner, it's very, very comfortable. It just... It's like, it's just meant to be held and ridden with. And let me find the balance here, show you. Right in the center, do not post this pen. It's just, it does have a felt inner cap, but just, just don't do it. Just don't post the pen. So if you're a poster, do not do it. And that's okay, but that's okay. I'm not gonna post. The nib is an 18 karat, duotone nib it has the namiki logo and the like the the mountain the mountain line um it's a medium nib so as far as i recall they only came in like fine and medium possibly broad on some of them but i have a medium and i know you're probably thinking oh my gosh she has a japanese medium nib it must be so thin it's not it like literally this pen is actual perfection perfection in every way it uses the con 70 converter i have my special little watermelon converter in here some people don't like the con 70 for me i don't really care because it has a large ink capacity and i just don't care you can always use a cartridge you can use the con 50 if you prefer or even con 40 but the the converter filling system like the converter itself is like the least of my worries or thoughts about this pen it is so far down the list of things to think about because the pen is literal perfection feels incredible in hand it is beautifully built and the writing experience is just it's next to none it's magnificent so let me turn this um, let me try to light her up a bit more and let's do just a bit of writing. Okay, so let's start with funny because now that I'm writing with it it's just reminding me why I love it so much and I don't want to get rid of it but um, it's, it's going and there are certainly other ways to get a Yukari nib like this um, it doesn't have to be this expensive but this one's just magical it's honestly magical it's not too wet it's perfect. It's just the perfect pen. The ink I have used is Namiki Blue. I have to say for a Japanese nib, the, the medium is pretty generous. Um, the tipping 
almost feels like like a naginata togi grind a bit it's got like the shape of the nib is very interesting you know the the shoulders are wide and then it comes to a small point quickly and it's maybe it's almost like an architect grind but much more forgiving so it's it's amazing it's just a perfect perfect writer uh, i don't like the shadows and i'm i'm so sorry for the weather it's just gloomy as heck and i obviously can't do anything about it so let me just try this see if this will give you better oh that's way better the feeling of the nib it is it's smooth but there is feedback it's not scratchy it's just like polished to absolute perfection it's not so glossy that it it just like skips across the page it is oh that was me smearing everything sorry it's um this sounds really stupid but it's like the nib knows what you want to write and it just takes you on for the ride so it's i know it sounds crazy but there's just something about this pen and I, I honestly think that these are some of the best pens ever made and this is probably the one of the best pens, the most spectacular pens I've ever used. It's a delight. It doesn't crap my hand. I could write forever with this thing. It doesn't skip. It doesn't hard start. It's basically a dream pen. I'm writing under the tripod, so I'm sorry for my alpha handwriting. I'm actually going to just turn the page and try to write more comfortably because the fact that I'm <laughs> struggling in the tripod is making me annoyed. So I'm also trying to make sure you can see my writing and not be like, not get overshadowed by the shadows. So you can see that it just fits perfectly in hand. It's again, not a huge pen. Let me quickly grab the A23, which is very similar, a little longer, but it doesn't have the same balance and weight to it. And that's just the thing about the Yukari. It's, it's just a step above, it's just a step above everything. It's, it's magnificent. It's not a super hard nib. It is on the firm side, but because of the shape, I think, like the shape of the nib and the tines, it it's like, I don't want to say soft, but it's like, a sh like it shock absorbs your, the weight. And it's like, just, it's just amazing. I, it's hard to describe, but it's, as I said, it's just actual perfection. It feels perfect. Um, if you apply pressure, you get a wetter line. It's beautiful. Uh, I just, I adore it. You can reverse write if you want and it surprisingly works really well. Like, I get the question often, if you could have one pen, like what would be the one pen I should buy? What's the most amazing pen I can buy? This would absolutely be one of them, a Numiki Yukari. So I'm using different styles of writing just to show you the variation. So up here, it was more of a consistent ink flow where there was less shading. When I write at a lower angle, I get wetter lines, and so there's a bit more shading. And it's just truly magnificent. Let's write the classic. And of course, with printing, you get more shading because the ink pools in different ways. Whereas with cursive, you're pulling the ink all the way through to the end. So, yeah. There's the pen. 
it just glows. The, the black glows, the, the rotten glows. You can see the ripples through the rotten. It's a beautiful pen. I absolutely love it. And I hope the new owner loves it as much as I have. <laughs> I know I have barely looked at you because I've been staring <laughs> at the pen and the paper, but I hope you enjoyed this. This pen is and will always be one of my favorite pens. And I'm sad to see it go and it sounds really stupid because it's just a pen. But you know, I mean, it's spent many years of my life with me and it's, it's, it's got it's been with me to many places in the world and it just has value to me. So I'll really miss it, but I will enjoy the pictures I have of it. And yeah, I'll just remember it. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this has brought you some I don't know, something, some curiosity, some enjoyment. Um, maybe you learned something about the pen. Maybe you learned something about, about what you might want to look for in, in a pen or in the future, like a dream pen. I don't know. Let me know. What do you think? Like, is this something that you would save for? Like, would this be a grail pen to you? They have other finishes. This is just one of them. Um, and of course, I believe Pilot is like super backed up on making these, but they have other finishes. So it doesn't have to be this one. Some people don't like Rodden. That's perfectly fine. I love Rodden. So obviously this pen worked out really well for me. Anyway, I'll stop talking. Uh, if you really, if you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And just let me know how you feel about it in the comments. Like, how do you feel about the pen? Do you have a pen that has felt so special to you before? Um, I'm just, I just want to know. I just want to see how you guys feel and what you think. So that's everything. Thank you for watching. Take care, everyone. I hope you have a great evening, weekend, whatever time it is, where you are. I don't know if I'm going to put this up on a Friday or a Tuesday. We'll see. But um, yeah, that's everything. Take care. We'll see you next time.